Hi friends, if your curtain looks like this after you fire a shot on your Zenit and uh, or it looks like this, I'll show you how to fix it. Super simple, no problems, no worries. This also applies to Feds or um, Zorkies or even uh, Russian start cameras. Alright, so first, first things first, there's four screws, one here, one there, one here, and one here that you have to uh, loosen and remove, so this bottom plate comes off. Now after that's removed, you're going to look for a set of cogs that look like this. There's two sets of them. Look at the serial number that's right over here, and uh, camera facing down with the back facing up. And uh, <clears throat> you want to fire your shutter to make sure that it is uncocked. And then uh, there's going to be a screw right over here where mine is missing. You want this bottom most screw which adjusts your second curtain. And uh, it's removed to hold this cog into place for uh, adjustment. Now let me grab a macro camera or macro lens and I'll get you in even closer. Okay, so now you can see sort of what I'm seeing. And uh, we're gonna turn this cog until this tension is completely loose so that we don't have any tension on it. Let's refocus here. And all you're gonna have to do is twist this four times and then tighten this down. It's, it's uh, lefty tighty righty loosey, so the opposite of the way it normally goes. And you're going to turn this counterclockwise to the left four times. Lock this one down. I like to have an extra set of pliers uh, to uh, tighten it down. And then we'll put that screw in and you'll have no issues. So we're going to twist it. We go, I like to have the numbers on the screwdriver here. So I can see exactly um, how many times I'm twisting it. So we start from the top. And we go one, two, three, four, and then you lock this nut down. Now I, I can't do this with the the uh, camera taking up most of the space. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that and uh, see if the shutter fires the way it's supposed to. Okay, that's closer to where we want it, but at one five hundredth of a second. At one five hundredth of a second, this isn't what you want. Uh, so I'm going to redo it properly, and then show you what the final result is, because I, I have, like, no room to work with. I can't get the screwdriver in, because I'm going to bang the lens. So let me get that done, and I'll show you the result. So I have uh, successfully tensioned the curtain, and uh, we will be test firing it now. This is one one thirtieth of a second, and uh, we have one one sixtieth of a second. Now we have one one twenty fifth of a second. Uh, one two fiftieth of a second and one five hundredth of a second and then uh, optionally here's just bulb with uh, holding the shutter curtain open to confirm that everything works and uh, once you follow these directions you can successfully sh do the tensioning of your shutter curtains this applies to uh, the uh, Zenit cameras, this applies to some of the newer Zorky, the 5 and the 6, I believe. Um, some of the Feds, the 5 and the 6, um, uh, 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 along with lots of other Soviet Russian cameras like the 
uh, the Leningrad and the start cameras. Hope this helps you out and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.